this is Lady Boulay and welcome back to Black American Lineage. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your thumbs up. And thank you for whatever you do to support this channel by coming back and watching the videos. Thank you so much. It's growing. It's going. And I'm just delighted. This is by now the disgraced Lieutenant Governor of North Carolina, Mark Robinson. And it's just shameful what is happening to him because he really could have had a bright future in the Republican Party. He could have been a role model for black people who are thinking about joining the Republican Party, trying to have confidence in the Republican Party. But for whatever reason, they picked the worst black people to represent the Republican Party. Black people who show so much anti-black hatred towards their own lineage. So that tells you something about the Republican Party, that the only way you can rise in the Republican Party is that you show disdain and hatred for your own people. This is also Mark Robinson with his family, a beautiful black family. He has two children. I don't know if these are his two boys or if the bride is his daughter, but I assume that the guy on the end would be his son. Beautiful, a beautiful black family. This is the kind of family that you would want to represent a beautiful black family. And there he is out here doing all this outrageous, stupid stuff that was never going to do anything but drag him down in the first place. So this article comes from U.S. News. It says, Mark Robinson on track for largest defeat in more than 40 years of any North Carolina governor candidate. So he's going down in history as losing by the largest margin of any North Carolina governor candidate. So pat yourself on the back, Mr. Black Nazi. You are going down in history. The North Carolina gubernatorial election could culminate in the most lopsided victory of any candidate in decades, according to the latest polling. A new CNN SSRS poll shows that Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson, who is the Republican nominee in the Tar Heel State's 2024 race for the governorship, is now 17 points behind Democratic Attorney General Josh Stein with just five weeks to go before Election Day. The poll is notably the first survey of North Carolina voters since the news broke of an account believed to be Robinson making numerous racist, anti-Semitic, pro-slavery, and even pro-Hitler posts on an adult website's message board. So, you know, you just have to wonder what is going on in somebody's life. They come up with all of these negative things against other groups of people. People who don't have anything against him, don't even know he's alive, and definitely are not thinking about him. But he's thinking about mean things, things that people have done, harmful things that have been done to other people, and he wants to co-sign those things. You know, tell me you have a mental problem without telling me you have a mental problem. And I hope nobody comes on here telling me that the white people did this to him. That is AI. White people would do stuff like that if they wanted to. But the problem with him is he has said these sorts of things in public out of his own mouth. So he can't blame that on white people. While Stein led Robinson in polls taken prior to the stories, his new significant lead over the lieutenant governor could be a turning point in the election. According to CNN, if the poll turns out to be accurate, it would mean Robinson is about to suffer the largest defeat in more than 40 years for a major party nominee for governor in North Carolina. 538's aggregated polling data shows that Stein holds a double-digit lead over Robinson in surveys taken by both Marxist College as well as a poll by the New York Times and Siena College. The last time any candidate won by such a large margin was 1980 when popular Democratic Governor Jim Hunt, who was the incumbent, 
defeated his Republican opponent by a 24-point margin. Stein's huge lead over Robinson has so far not translated to an advantage to Vice President Kamala Harris in the battleground state. 538 shows that polls of the presidential election in the Tar Heel State have Harris in a dead heat with former President Donald Trump, including the CNN SSRS poll that showed Stein far ahead of Robinson. So anyway, uh, what they're saying is that even with this garbage on Mark Robinson, that it may not touch Donald Trump. And we're not surprised by that either. Former North Carolina Governor Pat McCrory stated that the Republican Party had known for a while that Robinson's extreme policy positions and rhetoric could come back to bite them, calling the sitting Lieutenant Governor a ticking time bomb. He laid blame for Robinson's likely loss in November at the feet of the former state GOP chair, Michael Watley, who is now the chairman of the Republican National Convention. So they already knew he was a kook. CNN's k Fowl report about Robinson's post on the Nude Africa website, so he's posting on Nude Africa, specifically mentioned posts from an account named Mini Soldier with the profile display name Mark Robinson. One of the posts called for a return to chattel slavery, while another lauded Hitler's manifesto Main Kemp in a thread about book recommendations. In another post, the account believed to be Robinson's called himself a black Nazi and lamented that he couldn't join the Ku Klux Klan given his race. Since the story emerged, Robinson has insisted the posts were not him and dismissed the article as tabloid trash. As of Friday, Trump has not rescinded his endorsement of Robinson. In March, Trump referred to Robinson as Martin Luther King on steroids and praised him as an unbelievable lieutenant governor. Well, he got that right. He is unbelievable. For real. And even though Trump may not have rescinded his endorsement of Mark Robinson, it was reported today that they had asked him not to turn up at any Trump events. So they don't want him to taint an already tainted Donald Trump. Well, I'm pretty sure Mark Robinson didn't think that he was going to go out like this. Given his personality, and whatever kind of disorder he has, he should have anticipated it. Because you are a black man. You're trying to be the governor of a southern state. You think they weren't going to go after you. You really should have known better. And you should have let them know what your past had been. Because nobody believes that it's not you. Given the stuff you've already said in public about black people and he seems like he said something very disparaging about Reverend Sharpton. So he hasn't had anything good to say about any black people. So unfortunately, you know, when you live in a glass house, don't throw any stones. Because you throw stones out, somebody else is throwing stones in. And they might bring your house down. So this is a cautionary tale for all these black Republicans who think they're going to get up there and trash black people. Because white folk brought this dude down. Now, they didn't do it. He brought himself down. But they didn't want, they're the ones that went and dug this stuff up. I guarantee you that. Because, you know, they play dirty when it's politics. They play dirty. And so he was playing dirty, and they were playing dirty too. So you, are, you really have to know what you're doing when you get into this American politics. They let Donald Trump run around in New York City doing all that stuff, all that crooked stuff he was doing for all that time. They let him get away with it. But when he went to that White House, they, has, they have exposed everything he ever thought about doing. American politics is a strange thing. So you, you, unless your nose is really clean, it's a good idea maybe to stay out of it. Okay, y'all, let me know what you think about the video. Thank you for listening, and have a good evening.